going to be letter M day. Before we get to letter M, let's check out some of the L drawings that you've already sent me. Lot of lions. This one that I see here, this is done by Miss Lily. Lily, your lions look great. I bet you were super excited about L day. Love those little crowns on there. Nice job. I see a, a, a big lion and then a baby lion. Great job. Here we have Valerie. Valerie, I love that you've added some um, uh, stars in your sky there. A shooting star. It even looks like a rainbow fish down there. Nice extra details. Here we have Miss Mia. Mia has a great proud lion right in the zoo. Nice job. Olivia. Good to see you, Olivia. I love your lion. You did a great job. I love how you colored so neatly. I like that uh, crown. I like that heart on top of there. Great detail. Here we have, I believe, Ava. Ava has um, an orange lion. And Lucas, nice job. I like that your lion is way on top of a hill. Erlin's lion, nice job. Uh, I like this one too. Well done. Coraline, I like your pink lion. That was a great idea. And I like the rainbow and the extra flowers you added. Nice details. Here we have Jordan. Great job. Brother Cameron, well done. Like that tree. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's actually today. Today is, I should say, um, Blue Day. Wear Blue Day for Autism Awareness. If we were at school, your teachers would all be wearing. So we decided we're still going to wear blue, support autism awareness. Um, so there I am with Pup. Um, I have a couple more pictures. Here we have um, Megan Lions. Nice job. We have a baby lion and a daddy lion. We have Noelle. Nice job. And we also have this sleeping lion. And I think this says Reese up here in the sun. Nice job. Okay, so today is letter M day, and today we're going to be doing one of my favorite animals, the meerkat. Uh, the meerkat are uh, about the size of a squirrel, and they are part of the mongoose family. Let's check out this slideshow here. Again, on National Geographic Kids, find a lot of cool animal facts. Uh, these squirrel sized members of the mongoose family live in groups as large as 40, and everyone in the mob, that's what they call a group of meerkats, it's a mob. They participate in gathering food, looking out for predators, and taking care of the young babies. If confronted by a predator, the meerkats will stand together, arch their backs, raise their hair, and hiss trying to fool the attacker into thinking they are just one large single animal. So here you can see they're all standing together trying to make themselves, if they stand close, look bigger. I like how they stand up and hear what is around them. Meerkats live together in burrows that they dig into the ground with their long, sharp claws. You can kind of see their little claws there. And meerkats, they live down in uh, the southern part of the continent of Africa, down in this area. One place that I like to go to see meerkats is the Pittsburgh Zoo. You can see meerkats at the Pittsburgh Zoo. Uh, what else do we want to learn about meerkats? Some extra things here. They are omnivores, uh, which means they eat both meat and plants. That's an omnivore. It eats both. They live in the deserts and the grasslands at the southern part of Africa. We did learn that. They only go outside during the daytime. Each morning as the sun comes up, the mob emerges and begins to look for food. They use their uh, keen sense of smell to locate their favorite foods, which are beetles, caterpillars, spiders, and scorpions. So maybe when you're drawing today, you might want to put some of their extra favorite foods down on the ground for your meerkat that you draw today. Um, what else do we have here? Um, this is a video, and I don't know that you'll be able to hear the video, but what I see here is um, I wanted to show you one of the cool things about meerkats is around their eyes. That's almost like a sunglass for them. You can see it's very dark around their eyes, and so it helps uh, for the sun that is beating down on them. 
that dark circle around them helps reduce that glare. Maybe you've seen football players or baseball players sometimes have black underneath their eyes. That's kind of the same thing to reduce that glare. So when we draw our meerkat today, we want to remember to add dark around their eyes. All right. So moving on over here to my paint and I'm going to flip my computer around so I can draw. We're going to start off with a capital letter M and we're just going to make a letter M just like you normally would make a letter M. And then inside, we're going to make a letter M also, but a smaller letter M. Connect the bottoms. And then to make it a block letter, we're going to extend out our corners. All right, I'm going to connect this down to there. Connect that to the middle. Connect that there, and I'm even going to do one just on the corner there. Letter M for meerkat. And let's see, to make our meerkat, um, they're very skinny animals, so we're going to make our meerkat just the same, and we're going to make our meerkat perched up, looking out from his burrow. So I'm going to start... Um, Let's start with the meerkat's head. I'm going to make a upside down U. And then I'm going to make his neck and a long line down. The same thing on the other side. In a little bit for the neck and a long line down. And at the end of those long lines, I'm going to finish it off so it's like a letter U. Same thing here, letter U. Then, these are going to be his arms, so I'm going to make it come up. Same with the other side, come up. And then what I'm going to do here, this is going to show some hair on his belly. So I'm going to do some letter M's side by side one another just to make some fluffy hair there. This is going to be his belly. For his hands, I'm just going to make a little rainbow line, a little rainbow line on either side, and then I'm going to put little lines in here to show his little fingers. Okay, now we need to bring him, remember he's skinny, so we're staying skinny here. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, down, in the middle here, these are going to be two legs, so I'm going to make a line that comes up, and a line that comes up. And then down here, I'm going to make um, his little feet. So I'm going to curve out a little bit and back up. And curve out and back up. Same thing like we did with the hands. I'm going to make a little rainbow line, little rainbow line. And then we want to show his little, his little toesies. So a little line, little line. I'm kind of curving them. Little line, little line for his little feet. Now I want to continue this to be his belly, so I'm going to make a line, a smile line, that goes from his hand to the other hand. So in here we're going to make it his belly. We're going to make that a different color. Let's give our meerkat a tail. A tail helps balance him when he's staying up. So I'm going to start back here and make a letter J. And then I'm going to start on the tip of that letter J and swoop it back in. And I'm trying to keep my tail 
on the ground, just like his feet are on the ground. And on his tail, I'm going to make a little line at the end because we're going to color that a different color on our meerkat. Now, let's work a little bit on his, his head and his face to make him have a personality. Let's give him some ears. They um, have ears that are very close to their head. So I'm going to make an upside down U, but I'm going to make it very close to the head. And then a smaller one inside. Same thing on the other side. Upside down U, but very close to the head. Smaller one inside. And about down here, make a little line. We've done noses like this before. Little line, find the middle of it, put a dot and connect down to the dot. I'm going to make mine a happy meerkat, so I'm going to make a smile line out that way, smile line out that way. And I'm just going to put a little line down here to show that's his chin. Now his eyes, remember, they have the dark around their eyes, so we're going to draw first an upside down U connected at the bottom, other side, upside down U, connected at the bottom, and then inside, I'm going to make another upside down U with the dot, and another upside down U with the dot. Those are going to be his eyeballs, but these areas, we're going to make them dark. And then let's do a couple more last final details. Let's give him some whiskers. And there we go. And they have some lines on their back. So to make it look like he has some lines on his back that are coming around onto his arms, I'm going to put like a V on its side. A letter V, a letter V, a letter V. Do you see how that's a letter V on its side? Same thing the other way, letter V. So that just makes it look like a stripe. It's coming around. All right. Now, the fun part of coloring it in, we do want to make sure that he gets those dark areas. Um, actually, I think I'm going to make it, I'm going to make around his eyes dark. And his hands dark. And his ears dark. I'll get in there. Sometimes I have to get closer to get in those tiny little zones. While I'm there, I better do the pink on the inside of his ears. Then for his rest of his fur, it's going to be a light brown. And then his belly, I'm going to make a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to make his stripes a dark brown. Cool. Now, you can decide on making um, other meerkats. Maybe we know that they are in families. So if you want to, <laughs> this is going to be easy for me. Um, if you want to, you can make other um, meerkats. <laughs> so I'm going to make a little meerkat friend for him. Maybe this meerkat's a little smaller. And behind him. Uh, but you can make as many as you would like. We know that they like to be with other meerkats. Make another one back here. <laughs> I'm covering up my M. That was easy for me, but 
for you, you could draw it all over again. Or if you just want it to be one meerkat, that's fine too. I'm going to make the ground outside their burrow where they would all be hanging out. I'm going to add some extra details to make it look like dirt, some pebbles and rocks. And I don't want to forget my letter M. All right, I think that that's looking like a pretty good meerkat family. Um, I hope that you had fun drawing with me today. Don't forget to share. And also, please don't forget, write your name and your classroom code. Um, if you can't remember your classroom code, your classroom code is your grade and then your teacher's uh, last name, um, the first initial of their last name. So if you were in Mrs. Ward's class, that is a third grade teacher and then you would put a W for Mrs. Ward. And that helps me keep track of where you belong. So I can keep track of your different classes because with lots of students that are in our school, I don't always remember who your homeroom teacher is um, off the top of my head. So that helps me out by putting your name and 3W or whatever your classroom code is, um, just like we would do if we were at school during our class. I hope you have a great day. Today is a nice sunny day outside. I didn't draw outside today because um, there's some lawnmowers and it was a bit noisy, but um, I'm hoping that you get outside and enjoy this happy sunny day and I can't wait to see your drawings of meerkats. Have a great afternoon. See ya.